Formal reports look better when they are set up with an introductory cover page. In this quick tip, I show you two different ways that you can create the cover page that you want. If you're writing a report, you'll probably want to create a cover page. In some word processors, this could be done as a separate file. Well, you can use this approach in Word, but you can also format a cover page as part of the document containing the report. This is done by making the cover page one section and the rest of the report another section. At the beginning of your document, you need to enter the information that you want for your cover page. You can see that I've done that on the screen here. That's the first few lines that have the formal title, my name, and then a little subtitle for this particular report. I don't need to worry about the formatting just yet. All I needed to do was to enter the text. Now I can position the insertion point at the beginning of the report, but after the cover page information. So where I have the insertion point right now is just fine. On the layout tab of the ribbon, I'm going to use the breaks drop down list right here to choose that I want a section break in, included in here. The section break that I want is the one that says next page. I click on that and you can see that it put that part of the report to the next page. And now if I scroll back up to the beginning of the document, you can see that this is going to be my cover page and it's in its own section. I can format this cover page to look any way that I want and it'll be separate from the main section of the report which starts on the next page. This is how you format a cover page using two separate sections within your document. Now there is another way that you can create a cover page as well, and it works great if you're in a hurry. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this information that I had here for the cover page. I just hit the delete key and now I have my report in here and I can show you the second way that you add the cover page to your document. The first step is to display the insert tab of the ribbon. And then all the way at the left side of the page, you'll see that there's a tool here that says cover page. If I click the down arrow here, then Word shows me some different cover pages that I could add into my document. To use one of these predefined cover pages, all I have to do is click on the design that I want. For instance, if I want this one right up here, I just have to click on it. And sure enough, Word adds it within my document. Now there's nothing really set in stone about this predefined cover page. You can go in here and you can make changes in the cover page in just about any way that you want to. But it's a really quick way to add a snazzy cover page and then modify it to reflect how you want your particular cover page to look. I hope that you found this quick tip helpful. If you did, please click like then the subscribe button, and finally the bell icon. That way you'll be informed whenever I add a new video to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.